right, gang, well, welcome to Aspen, Colorado here. We're doing our cycling edition. We're joined by the lovely Lauren Goss, pro triathlete. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, glad to be here. And uh, we're here, first of all, thanks to um, Sheridan, Wyoming for our sponsorship here. And we're also with Pock Sports trying out the Pock Sports kit, which Lauren is so well displaying. What do you think? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's early editions of it. It's due. It's coming out spring 14 yep so we got a little preview here what, what what's, your, what's your thoughts yeah i think uh the kit it's women specific so it's very uh flattering which you can't you don't really find on um cycling kits these days they're mostly made for males so you know the shorts are a great length um they're tight in their compression and they feel really good on the legs but not too tight to make your legs like bulging uh, the material is moisture wicking and very cool um, the arms are fitted. There's great pockets for uh, all of your information you need. Um, if you want to put your, you know, your credit card or your emergency information, there's there's room for that. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to these coming out in the spring, and uh, you should really look into them because they're nice. I yeah, like them. and they've got the POC eyewear coming yeah. out as well, and the octal helmet, which we're rocking here, sub 200 grams. I think it averaged out to like- 193 grams. 193, yeah. super light. Yeah. Holding it next to any other helmet I've had uh, blows them away. And um, Pock's great, they've gone for safety first. It's a little pricier for that reason, but it's your brain. I think it's worthwhile. And it's very fashionable, so. We are on stage one of the, um, the Pro Challenge, which is starting this afternoon. We're getting a little preview ride here, so that's pretty exciting. We're getting some hills which are not too bad but i think there may be a crusher coming up yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna be taking it easy on that but uh also riding here bontrager team is out here earlier in the season doug took a moment to interview uh ryan eastman on that team one of the up and coming kids one of the under 23 guys on that team so uh let's check that out and um lauren's gonna help set a nice pace for me up this next hill yeah thanks for watching Hey, this is Doug Schnitzbahn, Editor-in-Chief of Elevation Outdoors, and I am here with Ryan Eastman, who's part of the Bontrager Pro Cycling Team, uh, and I'll let Ryan tell us a little bit about what that team is and what you guys do. Yeah, um, so we're a development team, uh, and we race at like a continental level, with, like professionals, I guess you can call it. And uh, yeah, we're all under the age of 23, and um, it's just kind of like this team, this like bridge the gap between junior cycling and like real professional cycling. So it kind of gives us a home for these four years is kind of typical to maybe like college for normal people. Um, and so we can move to the next level, so. What are some of the experiences you've had so far on the team? What races have you been in and had the experience yeah. just because of being here? Yeah, uh, like last year was a bigger year for us. Uh, we did like Tour of California and Tour of Colorado. So those were like the two biggest races I've done, which is just this whole next level, you know? Right. So like I did California when I was 19 years old, which is just like, uh, it's just crazy. Uh, so that was like a big, big step for sure. Um, which is cool about this team because we're all young, but we can still do these bigger races. Um, so like definitely that race and Tour of Colorado was an amazing race. It right. was like by far the hardest thing I've ever done. So a lot of things going on with the sport of cycling right now too, right? And it's, you know, not in the best state in some ways. Yeah. So what gives you hope for cycling, especially as you guys, young guys coming up, hungry to be in this sport? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think gives you hope and gives people who are following this sport a lot of hope for the future? Yeah, it's cycling has gone through a bit of a rough patch here, but uh, I've kind of tried to just view it as like, like kind of in history, maybe one of those bad wars that needed to happen, <laughs> you know, to like, get on the good side of it sure. um, and I think we're on that path right now like I know a lot of my teammates have been doing real well like some of the older uh, like just crazy talented guys um, and they've been doing well against these big pros and stuff so I think it kind of shows that it's starting to really clean up mm -hmm. and uh, and just like everyone that I like know personally in the pro peloton and stuff it's like I know them as people and stuff, and I know they're clean, so right. it's it's moving that direction. Yeah. Well, great. Well, good luck in the the Hill Tour coming up here. Thank you. And good luck in Tour de California, and good luck living in a house with four guys. So. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate Have fun. it. Yeah, good to meet you. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we didn't start at the beginning. We're at the start of the, the stage right now because 
We're staying at the Viceroy up at Snowmass, which is a beautiful hotel. But as far as more gear is concerned, you know, so Pac big on the high vis and AVIP. Absolutely, the uh, AVIP component with the tension, visibility, interaction, and protection. We've got an interaction component called Ice Dot. Right. Ice Dot, a very uh, integral component for the safety that you're out there riding. So it is a device that is attached to the helmet that communicates with your phone. In the case of a collision, of an incident where there's an impact or a certain preset force, are you ready? Somebody's going to notify any contacts in your phone of your current GPS location and your status. Yeah, you have the option to cancel it if it was just a small bump and you're okay and you can keep going, but otherwise it sends out to your emergency contact info. Um, ICE, I-C-E, in case of emergency, ICE dot. Check it out, pretty sweet little system. Uh, so that's part of the protection. Um, the whole AVIP action, you know, the high visibility, the orange, the contrasting collars, and then with that, of course, the uh, Victoria's shoes. Pretty high con high vis going on there as well. Super light, carbon fiber. Um, you can hardly feel them on your feet, really. So check that out. We are uh, we're heading off to Steamboat Springs now. We're going to go do some riding with Moots. So we'll check that out, and uh, we're going to go ride some more of the course. Till then. All right, friends, well, welcome to Steamboat Springs. As you can see, we are uh, pushing up against the edge of the season here, which actually not too uncommon for Coloradans. In fact, we often completely ignore the seasons and uh, ride our bikes in the middle of winter and uh, ski in the middle of summer. So uh, nevertheless, here in uh, Steamboat Springs, we just had a little snowfall, which is all gone now. John Caribou here with Moots Bikes is uh, showing us around. Tell us about the ride that we're on. What are we doing here? So today we're out doing kind of a, a, cl a classic Steamboat Springs ride. We call it the airport loop from the Moot shop. It's almost a perfect hour on the bike. Starts out with pavement, finishes on pavement, and in between we've got our beautiful uh, Route County dirt roads. For that, we we're on the, the cross bikes that you guys make here at Moot's right here in Steamboat Springs. Tell us about the bikes we're on and, and what's special about them. Yeah, well, we're, we uh, do make our bikes here in Steamboat Springs. We were founded here in 1981. Uh, we've been building in titanium since 91, so 20 years, over 20 years of titanium experience. The bikes we're on today are cyclocross bikes. Uh, the benefit of having those is a little bit bigger tire, a little smoother ride over the rougher roads. Yeah, and uh, cars that come by and pack it down, which is nice. While there are like hundreds and hundreds of miles throughout Colorado, um, of roads similar to this. They're not necessarily maintained the same way, which makes uh, Steamboat Springs a great place to come and ride because they do kind of cater to that to that rider and, uh, and making use of these roads, huh? Yeah, absolutely. If you've got a little bit of an adventurous side to you, um, the cross bike with that little bit bigger tire, you can tackle some National Forest Service roads, the yeah. county roads, pavement in between. Uh, makes for a really well-rounded, uh, fun ride. Yep, yep. And uh, and and you've been with Moots for you said 17 years now, and have done like worn all the hats basically. Yeah, um, you know, once you're in Steamboat, you don't tend to leave. And when you can find uh, great employment with a great company, uh, you tend to stick around. So yeah, I've, I've been there for quite a long time. Uh, done a number of different things from production to sales to uh, to our marketing these and days. and down on the floor too right building bikes that's right tell uh, us a little bit about how the bikes are built and you guys build more than cross bikes that's right we build road mountain cross and customs yep all built out of u.s made titanium tubing that's sourced within the u.s mm. we really key in on the best possible input materials best possible processes using our hands a lot of hand work goes into that all the way through until this bike comes out the end so we know when it goes out to the customer they've got the best possible product that we can produce awesome cool well we're uh, we're starting to cool off here after our first little stint from uh, the moot shop doing the airport loop and uh, snow on the mountain behind us so we should keep moving John thanks very much appreciate it and uh, we're gonna go hit the rest of the loop and uh, head back to the shop Back to the uh, Pro Challenge in Aspen. Okay, gang, so that's a wrap. We uh, snuck out of Aspen there, and uh, we're up here at the Highlands, the, the base village of the ski area, which, conveniently, is where uh, Pac is headquartered, right down here. So if you're up visiting Highlands, 
uh, be sure to pop in, say hi to them, check out some of their gear, because of course they started off in the snow industry and now getting into the cycling kit. Also uh, wanted to mention, had a great ride today on the carbon fiber frame from uh, Riley. And uh, that rode really well, super light bike, very comfortable. And uh, kept up with all, well, I don't know if I kept up, but had a good time trying to keep up. That was a human power problem, not a bike issue uh, with all these guys riding out here. So uh, thanks for joining us. Check us out next time. It's uh, off to another Colorado adventure here in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs>